Hey there, Capricorn, and thank you for joining me for your 222-2021 portal reading. This is for um, past, present, and future of what uh, is going on in relation to um, and coming up into and beyond the portal on the 22nd, how it's tied into the new moon energies we just had on the 11th. So 11 days from that new moon on the 11th to that 22nd, very significant for the for the divine um, divine union portal that we're having on the 22nd. So that's divine union with the self, the soul, and of course, with other people, your soul group, soul, soul family, soul mates, and twins, if you got them. And just if if I'm new to you, my name is Infinity. I'm a psychic, physical empath, medical medium, channeler, astral uh, meditation guide, uh, ascension guide, and distance energy healer. And um, pick out my end card reader, obviously. Check out here's our first card: three of wands in reverse. And uh, my website is thehealingbutterfly.org. And I welcome you to this reading. So let's go. The lovers. So three of wands and then the love, three of wands in reverse and then the lovers. Three of swords. King of wands. Oh, interesting. Eight of cups. Four of Swords. Five of Pentacles. And Ten of Swords. In reverse. Just checking, just making sure. Sometimes we pull them out a certain way, but that's not the way that they're supposed to be. So the only one in reverse is that last card. Oh, sorry, the first card and the last card. So that's interesting. We have a three, six, three, king of wands, eight of cups, four of swords, five of pentacles, and of swords in reverse. Very interesting. So let me just take a moment here to bring in the energies and the messages. All righty, caps. Let's see here. Well, I spent a little bit of time here thinking about this and letting the messages come in. Um, and what I got here is that there's been a a change in plans, um, things coming in to stop you, to get in the way, um, to just really change and alter where you were going before and really turn that upside down. And you've been in this state of recalibrating um, in your new normal. So I think that most likely um, you could have started having uh, <clears throat> changes within yourself or you know, spiritual changes going on with you um, 
before that, before the pandemic, maybe you haven't connected all the dots yet, but typically it's something that starts for a while or a few years before the actual, like when it's really obvious to you as the, as a human, because we tend to be so distracted. And when certain things happen, certain physical things happen, synchronicities, you know, just certain events. Anyway, you can go on and on about that. Um, but anyway, so, but I do think that, that it's, it began before the pandemic, but but that you really noticed. And then of course the pandemic hit. And I think that that has a lot to do with, um, with this being turned over kind of thing and trying to find um, out what the new normal is, figuring your way um, and just kind of not being more like on your own and upside down and in a new environment. And, you know, just a lot of, upheaval a lot of but at the same time you're still progressing you're still going forward because that is the three of wands the three of wands is about forward progress so while you've been everything's been turned upside down there's still i'm hearing there's still forward progress you've still been in your spiritual awakening and doing things that just prompted to look at the time at 909 so we're definitely talking about a light worker. Normally I'm talking to light workers and empaths and seers, healers, these types of people. So <laughs> the lovers coming in directly after. So, so the lovers doesn't always have to mean, you know, love or romantic partnerships. A lot of times it does because it's pretty, you know, obvious here with the lovers what it is, but it can just mean um meeting somebody and then you know really altering the course of how things are for you so it could be a friend it could be maybe um some type of work partnership or something like that uh and my music is ran out of music again I hate when that happens. I apologize. Uh, but I do feel that it's a like it's definitely deep soul connection, and that's definitely I feel that this has helped a lot. Um. I really don't feel that, that you see this. Okay, so the recording stopped. I'm not sure why. So we're picking up here. Uh, so anyway, uh, it was interesting. It stopped at eight, 14, eight minutes, 14 seconds in, and it's saved at um, 9, 12, or 21, 12. Well, that's interesting. Um, anyway, back to the lovers here. Uh, as I was saying, I don't believe that that this relationship is actually seen as a, a romantic partnership, but it's more of a of a soul family, soulmate, if you want to see it that way. And soulmates can have all sorts of different relationships. So it can twin flame. So they don't have to be romantic, but it's definitely um a very significant partnership let's just put it that way and it promotes a lot of releasement a lot of dealing and and support and getting past this kind of energy um past hurts heartbreaks uh betrayals transgressions, dealing with, you know, just really unfortunate situations, being stuck in a situation. Um, again, kind of that picking up on that. And then King of Wands here. 
So what I'm getting is that this is also representing you and the power, the support that you have. I'm really feeling Archangel Michael um, here, Archangel Metatron uh, coming through here. Um, and being very successful, being recognized for, for being seen, being recognized as far as people giving you, um, or you, how do I put this? <laughs> Just, uh, I'm seeing like leader authority, people wanting to, to follow you, listen to you, be around you, that kind of thing. Um, also, you're, you, this is you, but You know, this like half and half thing going on with this shirt. I just see like it hasn't like there's still stuff like there's still darkness here. You know, there's still stuff to sort out to get past to heal from. You're still stuck in some darkness and uncertainty. Um, so so your creativity, your capacity for really moving forward is is a very step-by-step -step situation right now. And just be patient in the healing, patient in, in, the, in the going within, because you have the key, it is there. You have to come out of this, um, of this and, And you will, but there's there's still more here that needs to be done as far as connections I'm seeing, your own inner connections, seeing certain things, um, opening yourself up, being able to be connected to and connecting because there's still this happening. So it's like your 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 heart is pulled in different directions. So you can't fully realize, see this very similar here. I'm seeing very similar here. And even this, it's like this light and dark thing or the separation thing between the energies. Do you see that? Look at how similar these cards are in, in this. Half and half business. The lovers is two half and half your heart here with, I love that. I love this really showing this kind of pulled in different directions and different, different things of drama or chaos. Or you know past relationships and the drama and the chaos that you that you still haven't cut cords from, cords needing to be cut, probably more often than you would like to deal with. But you're still tethered to a couple, a few, four, three, four, maybe even five situations. There's a lot going on here energetically. Honestly, there's your own stuff. And there's other situations happening that is where you're at right now. What's going on? And because of that, um, you're really being supported, really being supported. And you, you might be going, yeah, I'm totally supported. I know I am. I know I am. And I know this shit is going on. I know what's what this is, what this, but... And I know that I'm being supported. I know that they have my back, my guides, my guardians, Archangel Michael, very much feeling Archangel Michael here with this lion, having your back, you know, talking in your ear saying, I'm here. This is, you know, stay positive. Think about your light. Think about your, the fire inside, that sort of thing. Um, 
and it's like a brand new day is coming. So it's kind of like see see the shadow is like you know a day passing and and the sun going. And so there's shadow, and and then there's going to be a new time where you're going to be directly under the light. Time is time needs to go. You know how that works is like the sun is in certain places in January, then it is different in June, that sort of thing. So time needs to pass before the sun is completely like right on top here and, and you're gonna be even here. So it's gonna take a little bit of time, but not a ridiculous amount of time. And I think that that in some regards, you kind of, there's, there, <clears throat> there's certain things that you know that you're like, okay, I just need to get there are certain places in time and you're thinking about that. And it's like, okay, and then what do I do in the meantime, step by step? And then working on me, controlling what I can control, knowing more and more about what's on the inside and what and why this is happening, all happening to begin with. It's kind of reconciling this energy. Like this is all extremely purposeful. Um And this is really interesting, it being in reverse, this 10 of swords being in reverse. Uh, and I'm really, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm really feeling a transition. Because usually when I see this card, it's almost always straight up. And this really represents your divine connections and you being guided and guarded and, and, you know, shown where to go. We'll fly ahead. We'll show you where to go, but you're in reverse here with this. <clears throat> and and what I'm really, what I'm really seeing here with this is more of a surrender like there's just like there's stuff that you're trying like to put all together and there's this surrendering to this divine energy and it's showing me here how you're so grounded earth sign capricorn so grounded that even if you're turned upside down you're still so freaking grounded there's like it's really hard to get the stuff to loosen up and for you to there's just it's really it's funny it's like look at shake it not moving shake it not moving so really um from from doing more healing from taking it one step at a time i'm really seeing that there's there's still there's still cords there's still, still some stuff that needs to be cut that you have worked on it, that you know that there's things, because I feel like there was a lot more attached here. And you've just been like screaming out and release, like, ah, like I don't think I don't feel like in this situation here, like the way this is coming across here, it's more like releasing with this expression than being angry. You know, so and that there was a lot more, and you have thought about this stuff because this situation just made you know had made it so that so these things had to be thought about and then kind of probably um coming into understanding about stuff and working on on things in a very specific methodical way as best as you can through shifting energies um and blocks still blocks coming through i'm seeing because through it it's still like there's still the 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 negative energy um i want to i want to get another card i keep being told to get another card and i'm just so wrapped up in what i'm doing here so let's get another card two of pentacles there we go. So another two here for our 222 portal. This feels like it's better rounded out now. So 
more more balance coming into play more balance coming into play here with this two of pentacles the divine feminine the divine masculine releasement letting go more of cords that are attached um energies that need to be released so cord cutting extremely important here it's coming up a few times um I also feel like there's a need to to still to see like you're very definitely very powerful, very very much a leader, very intuitive, very psychic, and there's so much more coming. It's just we can't even figure. If we we're gonna do a bunch more cards, I feel like we get a lot of of major arcana cards to show um you know more you know power here strength and psychic abilities and things like that um but we're still pretty new to this situation but you've come a long way very quickly especially this the catalyst of the of the what you call it the uh the pandemic really taking a a big a big role in this situation like it did for a lot of people um but still i i still feel like it was happening before that for a while for a couple of years and maybe you just um you were just rolling with it but you know it's kind of sometimes after the fact when we can really look back that see and see things like that's how it was for me i thought oh my spiritual awakening started here and then like as i got more and deeper into it and understood the different facets of what all can happen. And I realized, oh, this, this crazy shit's been going on for years. <laughs> Forever? Maybe my entire lifetime. Like it was just like, ah, I got it. So I think that that's another thing to think about. Oh, look at what we have here. Luck is on your side. Awesome. New moon in Sagittarius. Luck is on your side. I'm hearing don't worry. This isn't this, these things here that are connected. They're just things that have to play out. But because, you know, kind of seeing the bigger picture here, um, it's all connected to things we can't even see, right? Look at can't even see it. So it's not in it's not in our frame of vision. So it does help to take a higher perspective, but time helps you with that. And and you will have that at some point in the future. Um, so but just to let you know, luck is on your side. If there are things that are causing you worry, that's really keeping you stuck in a situation that you feel very out of control. That's also a thing, feeling very out of control. Um, just know that that there is so much magic happening and things behind the scenes and your your magical divine counterparts are definitely, look at that, surrender to the divine. Your divine counterparts are taking um, a very lead role in your life and making things magically you know, weaving things together for your for your progress. And there's probably even more work being done with you with your guides in your sleep than in your wake state. Um, it seems like maybe you, you there's specific times that you set aside for going within and it has yet to be kind of an all the time thing and it could be just circumstances um environment but there are there are things that you can do now even though time hasn't come yet um that will that will make make connecting in your wake state easier even if there's interference from outside sources i'm hearing so just open up to the guidance 
open up to the guidance to tell you how to shift the energies around you. Believe in the impossible. Exactly. Believe in the impossible, dear Capricorn, because, you know, goats can fly, um, is what I'm hearing. Goats can fly. Believe in the impossible. It's definitely... Um, blue moon, magical, magical energy. And it's just, we're just, you know, coming in. It's like, I'm seeing an egg with just like the first few cracks happening. And you feel like you should be further ahead is probably like, it's probably really frustrating because there's so much, you know, being here now. Even though it's step by step, it's step by step. Don't forget, step by step, you are pro progressing. You are seeing the light. You are being guided, even though you can't see anybody in your actual world in person with you, that you can reach out and touch, that you could be there. You are. Ah, I can hold your hand, you know, and let's run, kind of thing. Nope, that doesn't exist. But the guidance is all around you. Everywhere there's light, there's love and guidance for you. And, and it's just getting into the habit of being able to see through the illusion of alone. And, you know, just how we can be alone in a crowd of people, you know, that whole thing. Um, it's, it's seeing be, beyond the illusion of alone and knowing that this is really there. It's just, I think, again, the perspective is not exactly in alignment. So it's kind of like when light reflects in a certain way, it can give you a certain skewed perspective or it can catch your eye a certain way and, and make it difficult to see everything. I feel like that's kind of part of it too, but there's so much incoming energy. We've got this full moon, surrender to the divine. So we're to pay attention to the full moon on the 27th. That is very important. I'm here, we got two full moons here and this new moon. So, Again, the balance of a new moon, but two full moons here, two full moons here, surrender to the divine, believe in the impossible. These are very powerful messages speaking to um, your faith, your belief, your integration. Okay, Capricorn. So the recording stopped yet again. So I apologize second time and it's taking me time to get my my video on and camera it's just technology has been <laughs> very interesting lately but on any 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 account <laughs> whatever you know what i'm saying um we have these believe in the impossible and so sur surrender to the divine and like you're the different facets of divine union, which is happening with this portal is definitely taking, taking form now and will continue to develop, but there is healing. There is more still things to get through in the current and in the future, but you can cut cords to what is even attached to that, that even if it has, even if things haven't been totally, you know, rectified yet, or if there's things still up in the air that really are out of your control, you can still reset cords, cut cords to those situations so you can start healing from them, even if you're in them, honestly, um, just to make life more comfortable here. Uh, and, and that there's so, so much light coming in with the full moon um, full moon energy. I'm hearing that I'm hearing even starting with the full moon in January and the full moon here on the 27th in, in February, there's definite divine magic and energy coming through that you, you are, are getting and, um, That's definitely part of part of what's going on. Uh, 
here. And then, uh, what was this? Oh yeah, luck. It's been so long. <laughs> Hope I can pick it up. Luck is on your side. So believe in magic, believe in the impossible, surrender to the, to the divine. I feel like there's still some control being like, there's still like a, a holding on tight. I feel still like a holding on tight and not like I'm needing to really release, really surrender, really release, feeling that surrendering to get in. This is the four of swords. So four being very, uh, balanced that coming into play working with the elements working with the divine feminine the divine masculine bringing bringing richness into the world here with this and i'm also just withhold that bringing it in with love remember you are very powerful coming into your power and there's still a lot you haven't seen yet but it's coming in here with these full moons with the luck that's that you're you're like embedded with magic and luck and are very um, connected, all that good stuff. So the last thing we're going to do before it shuts off again, hopefully it won't, completely we started everything like three times. So hopefully it'll be good for now, but we're going to get to... Oh, we have the spirit of spring and this is a beautiful card we also got this card um i think it was leo but i think it was a leo reading but in, in any event freedom action power spirit of spring card number 34 so let's read about card number 34, Spirit of Spring, pages 102 and uh, 103. 34, Spirit of Spring, Freedom, Action, Power. She comes to, to touch the world into awakening again. Each cycle follows its course. And at her point on the cycle, the spirits of spring emerge and do their work. Each has their part to play, from fairy to the goddess who breathes life back into the still world. When she comes to you, no matter what part of the external cycle you are at, inside it will be your spring. This is your renaissance. This is your time of jasmine and sweetness. This is the time to consider what it is you will grow. And you must hurry, dear one, to catch this energy which is coming to you, bursting up through the blood, through the cells, and into the mind, where ideas will be born that will shape the world yet to come. You are a part of the next step on this planet, and you must make true and real within the world that the ideas which now arise within you. It's a complicated sentence. <laughs> Let me read that again. You are a part of the next step on the planet and you must make true and real within the world the ideas which now arise within you. For this spirit of spring is urging you to recreate the world anew, to initiate the ideas and to fulfill the promise of conception. You have work to do, dear one, a vocation to fulfill. It is beyond the numbing plot of the slave machine that can be our culture. You have more to give than that. It is pushing through the limitations that seem to be all about you. You are free, free to make your life your garden, free to become what your nature has destined you to be, free to make wild the life that forces within the paradigms would prefer to enslave for their purposes. The power of pure, fresh, sweet life is within you. Let it pour through you, rise up out of you, take root in your soul and blossom through the words, through your words and actions, choices and commitment. Do not hesitate. The time for action and growth is now. 
touch your life as she does for you are her and she is you. And once this is recognized, you can never be taken prisoner again. And illumination, when I grow and act, I free not only myself, but all around me are freed in return. So <laughs> timing is everything. It, it Time is now to really dig deep, do really intense work um, on yourself, on your situation, on your energy with what we have here. Um, I feel like there's more to be, always more to be done. It's coming. The energies are coming um, through this portal on the 22nd for divine union. And just be patient through this. Um, cultivate the new that's coming as the old is still cycling through. And again, revisit or visit for the first time cord cutting. I have a an ebook and um, a guided astral meditation healing practice on my podcast. All can be found on my website for cord cutting. Um, it's free, so please take a look at it. Also, the essential guide for, for empaths. I really feel like there's just a lot of energy that's still, um, that you're still trying to manage around you and really understanding more about how empaths work would really help you healing the money wound, because I'm feeling that there's, that because of this upheaval and stuff, that there's definitely stuff with money going on, worry with money, the money hasn't come in yet, it will, right, luck is on our side, believe in the impossible, surrender to the divine, we will have our balance, it will come in, but um, it's still, you know, it's like a, it's coming in, and the, in the, and just work on abundance. Um, if you haven't already, work on on abundance with the mindset of abundance. Work on uh, healing the money wound. I have a meditation for that. I just put out like two days ago. I've been putting out so much for healing, loving the body. Please do that if you haven't yet. Um, so it's body love and connecting with your guides and guardians, or sorry, your um, your specific. Uh, guardian angel so you so please do that um and whatever other practices or working one-on-one -on -one with if it's not me then another energy healer that you trust and feel that you can really help release you and get you on this path uh, or keep you on the path or whatever doing work for yourself energetically meditating that sort of thing very important. Just remember, time is of the essence. <clears throat> Excuse me. Time is now. Time is of the essence. Um, I'm feeling also, you know, with this too, that that connecting with Gaia more is definitely in the in the cards here. And the more you work with, ground with her, connect with her, heal with her, talk to her, listen to her, join her in. Um, you can see that put up here, join her in, um, in nature, be with her. I'm seeing that sunlight is very important. So if there's been an, like, if there hasn't been a lot of sunlight coming in, it's really important to get sunlight if you can, as much as you can, or, um, even getting vitamin D I'm hearing. But obviously the real lights, the real sunlight, the real of our star bringing in um, codes and through the new moon and the full moon um, coming up is really, really important. So, so really tap in with your guidance as far as how to spend your time wisely, what is important, what is not important, what to, what to really, where, when you're you know, your time, your energy is all, is all you, that's your choice. So what are you going to do with that time? Um, and we're, I think six or seven days from the, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, seven days. And well, depending where you're at, I'm um, here on the 15th. So the 22nd is next Monday. Um, and then we have five days after that until the full moon. So as much energy work, as much spiritual work as you can do, as much automatic writing, 
Um, going into water, there's not a whole lot of, you can't really see that here, but that's always a good, a good thing to do, good advice for healing if you can. Um, baths, showers, soaking, jacuzzis, hot springs, obviously the ocean, rivers, lakes, you know, um, that sort of thing, just to help that process. But remember, I guess I'm leaving you with this is, you know, time is of the essence. You are, you are in a state of transformation and change. You're step-by-step step taking care of it. There still are some blocks. There still are some some connections that can be either reset or completely let go of that I think you have not seen yet in some regards here because you're too you, there's just a lot taking your attention and you're trying to you know manage everything so maybe doing and you know if you've already done a cord cutting inventory in the past do it again check out my my information is is and my practice for for med, for this healing for cord cutting is very different very very different than a lot of them it's not cutting with swords and knives or scissors and it's not violent at all it's very loving it's very peaceful it's very empowering uh <clears throat> for everybody involved you're bringing your power your energy back into you so please take a look at that um as you're so guided so don't put it off if you can and that's it thank you so much capricorn sorry for all the the choppiness here, um, but thanks for sticking with me. And please like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me know how this resonates for you and um, come back soon. And happy portal and full moon. And I'm gonna leave you with believe in the impossible. Peace out, caps. Bye for now.